you do realize there's no reason to be disheartened. Donald Trump has multiple paths to victory. So don't be a Judas Republican. It's time that you really support him. Not just when it was the election, but right now, it's more important than ever. Let's get into this. This is OTR Ogre and Corgi, and this is going to be a little my thoughts. And uh, if you happen to enjoy, like, link, and subscribe. Share with someone you like, share with someone you hate. Comment if you want to, whatever. When I look at this situation, I see a bunch of people saying, oh, they stole the election. <laughs> like, you know the worst thing for Republicans? It's Republicans. You guys are only strong when you think you're going to win. No, you need to be strong right now. Because if you look at the situation, if these states go to court, get contested, that probably will immediately initiate a manual recount, a physical manual recount. <clears throat> Do you really think Beijing Biden will have a chance if there's a manual recount? What about all the votes that he shoved in at the last minute? Yeah, and you don't think that you know actual ma manual counting doesn't catch voter fraud on a regular basis? Look up the history of it. Why do you think they wanted mail-in balloting? Because it's, it's, it's easily cheatable. So look at that avenue right there. So these contested states, like, for instance, Michigan, they just found out that, oh, hey, this, this glitch in the system swinged this many votes this way. They took Trump votes and were giving them to Biden. That's not suspicious. Ask yourself this. Why is it that the two states that used to be the big contested states, Florida and Ohio, why weren't those, why weren't those in, you know, in contestant? Why did they go so heavy to Trump? Because those two states had election fraud the last number of years. And they put up some laws in there that will throw somebody in jail heavily for years. Lots of cost to that person if they fucking commit voter fraud. Oh, so that's why there wasn't any voter fraud in those states. Why is there voter fraud in places like Pennsylvania, Georgia? You know, liberal bastions, by the way. Places where there isn't enough Republicans normally to be noticeable to change these laws to protect the, their elections. Ah, you're starting to see a pattern here? The only states where this crap is happening is places where they haven't had any sort of laws to protect the vote. Ask yourself this for a moment. Do you think Joe Biden ran an actual good campaign? Was he out there stumbling? You watch the Trump people. These people would walk on burning coals mixed with broken glass with bare feet to get to these, these rallies. People waiting like you have, the, the stadium is completely maxed out inside. Outside, there's like 20 or 30,000 people just milling around just wishing they could be in there. What do you see with Joe Biden? Oh, we got you know 15 to 25 cars or nobody there. There's more peeps, Trump supporters on the outside of a Joe Biden rally, honking their horns, you know, tr you know, chanting, you know, four more years of Trump than there is at Joe Biden. If you're gonna tell me that that rally, those rallies that Joe Biden did, drummed up enough support to beat, not Trump, but the president that got the most support ever, the highest vote count ever. You know who that was? That was Barack Obama. You're telling me that Joe Biden got more of the black vote than Barack Obama. Come on. That, you don't tell me that stinks of fraud. And think about this one for a second. How is it that, it, that they could get more black support than Barack Obama, and yet Trump got more black, Latino, and all this other support? than ever, than the Republicans have ever gotten. So there's a statistical anomaly there. One, basically, 100% of people that could vote voted, and they voted for Joe Biden. No, no nobody's ever had 100% voting turnout. That's why you need to check who you voted for. You need to go online and figure out who you voted for. Especially you're in these hot contested states. You see, there is so much fraud that is obviously in front of us, like wag wagging their dick in front of you, levels of fraud. But if you're going to be a Judas Republican, and me, I'm a libertarian, so I'm not really thrilled with your people to begin with. You guys are, It seems to me that a lot of you are only fair-weathered fans. And if, if after all the crap that's happened, if you don't go out there and support Donald Trump right now, then you deserve Joe Biden. 
You really do. You deserve Beijing Biden and a return to the, you know, unemployment levels of frickin' the Obama administration, because that's what's going to happen. When they put on those uh, mask band-aids and they use that crap to suppress people, oh yeah, the first year is going to be crap under Biden. You know that. Let me tell you something else. They currently have SCOTUS. So if this gets pushed too far and they've got to make a decision, then he's already got SCOTUS. They've already got the House. If it goes to SCOTUS, then it goes to the House. They've got it. So Trump has this victory, and the Democrats know this. What they're hoping is that he gives up. He just says, screw it, this isn't worth it. After all the crap he's been through in the last four years, after all the work he's done. The only way they can win is if Trump gives up. But it doesn't help Trump one bit. If you sit there and act like, oh my God, you know, we just want things to go back to normal. Well, they're not going to go back to normal. You know, it's like this old saying when it comes to the Democrats. The Democrats either punish you for not voting for them, which a bunch of activists and rioters. Look at it. Have you not seen it? They're burning down their own cities. But still, they're going to expect you to pay for it. If you live in that state, you happen to be a Republican, you're going to have to pay more taxes to fix their problem. Or they elect you and slowly poison your country. They get into office and they slowly just... Look at the Obama administration. We had unemployment that was could have been cured. He could have went around the world and renegotiated the trade deals and the taxes, but he didn't know how to and he didn't want to. He wanted China stronger because when these people that used to be com communists, that are still are communists, you know, when the, when the USSR failed and fell into the ocean, basically, you know, it's kind of having a revival now, but not, not the level it was when they're in the Cold War. These fucking Hollywood elites, these Democrats, these, these socialists, good little socialists, they supported the USSR. When that fell, they had a brief window of like, fuck, shit, um, what are we going to do? And then China started being the new player. They support China for that reason. That's why, you know, when you look at a lot of the big money that goes on with this, you know, like, ask yourself, why, why, why do these people support, you know, Chinese this, Chinese that? Why, do, why does LeBron James and all these other ball players got nothing to say about what's going on with China? How about all these Muslims in America, you know, talking about the situation with Islam and all that? And then you're like, oh, what about the Uyghur Muslims in Chinese detention camps where their wives are being you know, raped by fucking Chinese people. I'm sorry if that's a big graphic, but but that's what's happening. They keep they're throwing the men over here, work, working them like slaves, and they're trying to erase these people. Oh, we got nothing to say about that because we want some cheap Nike shoes, or we want we, we want the NBA. You know, don't say anything. That's our that's our that's our uh, bread and butter. Yeah. At least back in the day, if we were doing, we had this going on with the Soviet Union, people would have called you what you are. They would have called you a traitor for being that way. These days, we just call it good business. You've got to ask yourself, why do a lot of these big businesses want to move over to, to China? Well, because for a long time, when you have a 39% tax rate, corporate tax rate, it's really kind of hard to do business when you're losing pretty much 40% of your money initially. How much tax is enough? This is what you've got to ask yourself. They don't want you, as a small business owner, to be successful as well. They want you as an employee. You know why? Did you see uh, that the crazy woman, uh, what's her name, AOC? I don't like even like saying her name. I don't like advertising her. But they're sitting there talking about making lists. Oh, we're going to find out who the Trump supporters are. You know, Trump supporters are, and then we're going to, there's going to be, there's going to be inquiry. So translation, there's going to be struggle sessions. What's a struggle session where they get a bunch of people in there? They're, they're basically, they're going to try to do what they call, like, it would be the equivalent of McCarthy. McCarthy was a goddamn hero. He didn't go far enough was the problem. Now we have the new age of socialism trying to scare you into submission. And they don't even have the victory. But most of you Judas Republicans, you're not going to call up, you know, the Senate, the House, you're not going to be there and be like, I will be there protesting. I will, if, if you're going to sit there and you're going to go home and you're going to be, a, you know, I'm a good little sheep. Uh -huh. I, I don't, I, I don't have original sin. I'm a good person. Sheep are led to the fucking slaughter for a reason because they're livestock. If you're a man or a woman, 
trans binary, whatever the fuck these days they, they're saying. And you have a mind. And you have the freedom of will. You need to go out there and if you support, like if you don't support, do whatever you want. But if you do support this president, you need to make sure every single one of these Republicans, Senate or House or anywhere, they know that if they pull a Judas move at any given point, if they don't stand strong with this president, they're not only going to be elected out, their life is going to be fucking ruined. You know, because that's the thing. They only can steal this if you lose your faith. And I don't believe Donald Trump's going to lose his faith. After all the crap they put him through, like trial by fire for the last four years, and still standing strong and smiling. I believe the only way that, that this will be lost is if the American people, the honest voters, start just giving in to a conceded election. I mean, we're not talking about whether Trump wins now. We're talking about whether our election matters. Because if they get away with this now, you better believe this is going to be the new game plan for then on out. So I don't want to go back to the, you know, the you know, original sin Republican era of like the 2000s, you know, the, you know, they're like, oh, just, just play it nice. I don't want to go back to that crap. We've seen populist support. And maybe the next 2024, you get a Democrat that's like Trump, you know, someone who actually has populist support, someone that's a real businessman, someone who would be, and we'll see, we'll see people actually really fighting back and forth. We need populist style candidates. We don't need to go back to the fucking old way. But if you're losing faith now, then you're fucking Judas. Don't be a Judas Republican. Anyways, I've ranted long enough. Take it easy.